Hello Eurovision friends, thank you so much for coming to my channel Eurovision Histories. Today I want to talk about my favorite song this Eurovision season, at least up until now, and that is Pede Choro by Huka, who is competing in the Portuguese national final Festival da Cansao tonight actually with this song and the first time I heard it I fell in love with it immediately because of the music, because of the combination of gospel at the beginning and then a bit more upbeat and world music uh, later on in the song and that is just a great combination for me personally. And I also thought that I understood the lyrics because I speak Spanish and French and sometimes that gives you the impression that you do understand Portuguese. But in this case, it led me down the wrong path. And someone in the comment section of my ranking video for the Festival de Cansao songs explained to me that this is an homage to Sara Tavares, who represented Portugal in Eurovision 1994. And so I read the lyrics and the lyric translation again. And I did that on a platform waiting for a train and I started to tear up because I think these lyrics are really, really beautiful and that's why I want to talk about them today with you. Now let's talk a bit about Sara Tavares, who the song is about and who it's an homage to. She represented Portugal in Eurovision 1994 with the song Chamar a Musica and she placed eighth, with, which is one of Portugal's best results in the competition. <laughs> Now this song is an evergreen in Portugal, even though it doesn't quite represent her as an artist and her music style later on in her life. However, she did manage to win the festival at 16 years old and she's the youngest representative of Portugal in Eurovision. And the fact that 30 years after her participation and her win to have this song that is an homage to her in the competition is also really meaningful. She is of Cap Verdean descent. Her parents emigrated to Portugal from Cap Verde, and this is very present in her music. Unfortunately, she was abandoned by her parents at an early age and spent most of her childhood in the care of an older lady in Lisbon. However, she showed musical promise very early on, and in her music, she often combines many different aspects and elements of music, including Portuguese music, African influences, world music, and she sings in English and Portuguese and also in Portuguese Creole languages of, for example, Angola and Cap Verde. Her 2017 album Sinti, which was nominated for a Latin Grammy, features many different African sounds and cultures. Unfortunately, Sara Tavares died last year at the age of only 45 from a brain tumor and she was good friends with Huka who is singing this song for her and he is from Mozambique but now lives in Lisbon. And the song starts as I said as a gospel and with a very solemn feeling remembering her and commemorating her but then also turns into a real celebration of her life and legacy. So let's look at the lyrics. He sings, tonight I'm going to have a proper crying fit, a happy cry to celebrate you. I'm going to compose a song for you to hold you up in a prayer of love, love to love. So he's having a happy cry for her to celebrate her, but he also wants to continue her legacy in a way because he sings, I'll keep your light on like a comfort blanket that brings us this piece of a swing in your voice. It's me and you, it's all of us. And in the original Portuguese version, the it's me and you, emi mabo, is actually in Cap Verdean Creole and another homage to her African and Cap Verdean heritage, because Mi Ma Bo is also the title of one of her albums. And her heritage and her identity really also feature very much in this song when he sings Rare Jewel, Sada, Creole Queen with kinky hair and beautiful skin. And then he also talks about her importance to artists of color in the Portuguese music scene when he says, you are a poem, a flower of revolution. You walked your path and you paved ours for us. Sweet fire, divine 
blessing. So beautiful references to her as an artist. She is a poem. She is divine inspiration. But the flor da revolução, the flower of the revolution, also made me think of the carnations that are a symbol of the Portuguese revolution from dictatorship to democracy. And Sara de Vares was born only four years after this happened. And maybe this is a reference to the fact that now in this new democratic Portugal, anything is possible. And you, Sara, did pave the way for other artists like Huka, who are of African descent as well. And Huka has actually talked about her very important role for him and him becoming an artist. The first time I saw her sing was in my mother's sewing studio in Mozambique, and it was at the Song Festival. When I was 16, the first concert I saw was hers. Having the privilege of seeing her do the sound check at the invitation of Mirko Paris, I was sure that this was my place. And since then, I've had the privilege of calling one of my greatest inspirations a friend. That was how she welcomed us. You gave me so much in songs and hugs. Because Huka and Sara were actually friends before her untimely death. And this voice note you hear at the beginning of the song is actually her. And she sent this voice note to a mutual friend. And so Huka used it for the song. And he also expresses his gratitude in the lyrics of the song, saying, I'm going to bathe myself in your light, my gratitude. And the last part of the lyrics are kind of the perfect homage and a great summary also of the song because he sings again in Creole, Vau Baboleta, Abri Bosch Azai Vau, Fly Away Butterfly, Open Your Wings and Fly. And this is both a reference, I think, to her dying and going somewhere else after her death, like a butterfly. However, Vo Baboleta is also one of her songs that was featured on the album Mami Bo that we saw earlier referenced in the song as well. So I absolutely love this song and I want to say Obrigado Juca and Obrigado Portugal for this wonderful gift of a song which I will listen to I think for the rest of my life because of this combination of happiness and sadness that only the Portuguese know how to do this well. And I want to leave you with his own words about this song. He said, this happy cry that I composed out of an immense need to celebrate Mana Sada is yours now. This is not a song, it's a love letter. It's a celebration, it's a note of gratitude. It is a dance and serene continuous mourning. It is a happy cry, one that cleanses the soul, that brings lightness. It's a tear that falls on a dancing body. With you in my heart, I want to celebrate you, bring you back to the festival 30 years after you were here. And just the fact to have a happy cry and to mourn by dancing also is a great homage to both their heritages, I think. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you want more lyric interpretations like this one. And I'll see you for my next video if you want to. See you then and bye bye.